Hey, this is Danielle, and today I'm going to be reviewing and giving you a demo of the Max Spray Airless Paint Sprayer. Make sure you wear goggles to protect your eyes and a respirator to protect your sinuses. Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com, and today I'm going to be trying out the Max Spray here airless paint sprayer. A lot of outdoor projects so I needed something that was a little bit better um, and more high powered than I've used in the past. So I'm working on this goat shed and we're putting metal panels on the roof so I want to paint all this so I can put the me metal panels on. I have not decided what I'm doing for above the um, planks here. It may be metal. I haven't decided so I'm just going to paint now and then I can paint again. Um, the top again if I need to. Let's get started. I'm going to show you what we got in this package. We got our instructions, um, got some hose line, got my neighbor's dog, they gave us some goggles which is nice, and then this beast here which I'm going to struggle to get out. And of course I have some helpers here that are going to make this 14 million times hard as hard as it should be. Hi guys, what are you doing? This is the original paint that came with our barn. You can see our barns up there. So I was hoping to get this to match it. I also want to paint those compost bins over there. Um, so yeah, but one project at a time and that one requires some taping. So I wasn't as motivated to start that one. So guys, don't eat the plastic. No, thank you. We're gonna make this really hard. Okay. So let us get all hooked up. Okay, so when you get this, you're gonna see this hose. This is the intake for your paint spray. That'll go in the bucket. So this is on top of here. You're gonna unscrew this. This is kind of cool because it screws on. Um, and you're gonna take your hose and put it there. These little pieces are at the end of your hose on either end, and they just unscrew it. Okay, so we've got this plugged in and we are ready to get started. I got my paint stirred. So this here needs to go in a waste bucket. This here goes in the bucket of paint. As you can see, well, you can't see anymore, but it's got a little filter on it. So hopefully you're not um, getting any lumps that will clog your sprayer. Everything's off. We've got it on low spray. And again, it's on off, but plugged in. Okay, now I have it set up properly. <laughs> you definitely want the drain bucket. Woohoo. Um, so at this point, I am just holding the spray tip to unplug. Oh, sorry. It's really hard to go back and forth between the mask and not. Um, so it says, press the unplug button. Where do we think that is? Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, I see. Unclog is to flip it. So we can keep this this way so we can unclog it by going this way. Hold the gun against the waist pail. Turn the prime spray. Uh, prime valve to spray position and turn it on. Okay. So that is until the paint, only the paint's coming into the gun. So then transfer the drain tube to the paint pail and clip it to the suction cube. Get this back to this. We are doing this again. This is gonna get connected back to that. I'm gonna get paint all over me. And I think I'm pretty much ready to go here. Okay, so let's get started and see how this goes. 
So I'm going to show this all without the sound because it's pretty loud. Um, this goes very quickly. It's very easy to spray. It does get clogged if you don't strain the paint ahead of time, which I did not do. Um, and I, this is a little bit older paint, so I kind of expect it might be a problem. But I was trying to get it done because... I'm on a bit of a time crunch here. So yeah, it clogged a little, but it's pretty easy to get the clogs out. You just go to the bucket and you change your settings and it kind of spits out the clog and then you continue on. So anytime you see me going back to the bucket, that's usually what I'm doing. But again, it was really quick to fix. And um, I think if I had strained, it would have saved me a lot of extra time unclogging. Okay, so I am covered in paint and partially because I was just trying to squirt up here instead of getting on a ladder because it made it a little easier. Um, but I was getting some coming back down at me. But this thing is amazing. So I've never used a high powered um, sprayer like this. I've always used um, kind of like that little teeny one that you would get for like painting furniture. <gasps> I don't know why I've never gotten one of these. This is amazing and it just, like I've never painted this much this quickly and because it's barn paint, I'm really only looking at maybe one or two coats at most. Of course, the challenge is I am painting some leaves, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to brush off some of this before I get started, but I did run out of paint. Um, this, again, this is saving me a ton of time. It's saving me the effort of getting up and down off a roof. Um, I think I could get a smaller ladder and probably finish this um, and get everything um, without getting up on my scaffolding, which I do have. Um, but I may try that just to get a, from above, so that way I don't get as much paint on me next time. But um, yeah, I've just got to go get some more paint. But this was so much faster. Usually I will... Oh my gosh, usually it takes me hours to paint anything. This might actually get me doing some more outdoor painting, which I've wanted to do, but I've been kind of hesitant about because I'm not a fan of things that take hours and hours of my time. So this is going to make a huge difference. It did clog a little bit, but that's because I didn't strain the um, paint. And this particular paint's a little bit on the older side. It's a little clumpy. So I got clogged a few times, but I was able to get it unclogged. Not an issue. It was super easy. Um... Yeah, I'm super pleased. I, again, like this makes me wonder why I didn't do, get one of these before. Because this will be a game changer for getting any sort of painting done. If I'd had enough paint, I think I could have painted the whole thing today. But unfortunately, I only had a half a container of paint. And clearly didn't pre-plan very well because that was never going to be enough. But yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, uh, wow, yeah. And it was fun too. Like it's fun to use and uh, that makes doing any job a little bit more pleasant in my opinion. It's just, you know, <laughs> when you enjoy things, you're less likely to drag your feet. And I'm certainly going to get this um, new paint and finish this up in the next couple days, assuming it doesn't rain. So, uh, gosh, yeah, super awesome. So anyways, I hope this review was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. And again, this is fantastic. I will link the product in the review. Um, yeah, hope this helps. Uh, it's supposed to be really easy to clean. I may do a different video on cleaning it, but I don't want to clean it right now um, because I'm going to be, I think there's a way to store it so I don't need to clean it in between if I'm going to be using it the next day. So I'm going to be looking that up and storing it appropriately, and then I will clean it in a day or two after I've finished the rest of the house or the goat house, yeah. Alrighty, take care. Bye. Make sure to visit my blog at DIYDanielle.com for more information. Take care.